I jerked my right elbow to remove his hand from my left breast. Nope. Not tonight, I told him, pulling my book closer to my nose. A shield to prevent further attacks. Adam rolled over onto his back with a huff, then gave me that wounded puppy look that, much like an evening on red wine, makes me want to laugh, then cry. Five years married and he wasn't showing any signs of slowing down. I suppose I should count myself lucky. But then he hadn't had to go through what I went through today. Unless they had started a bring-your-kid-to-work day in the kitchen where he worked as chef. How comes, Lou? And don't say a headache because I already served your spaghetti with a pinch of paracetamol in your parmesan. I involuntary cackled before telling him it wasn't right to joke about that sort of thing. I'm always having to watch what I say at the school, and it can take me a while to shake off that cloak. Sometimes until the following morning when I'll start calling the shower a twat for taking ages to produce any hot water. When that happens, I'll use the noise of the cascading shower to bleat any more expletives wanting to hop off my tongue. By the time I've dried off, they've all been swept down the plug hole. Adam continued. Are you sure it's something a nice massage couldn't help with? I brushed his hand away, again. Oh my God, do you ever give up? I love it when you call me God. He grinned. I rolled my eyes up, catching sight of a cobweb in the bedroom ceiling. I knew our cleaner had been cutting corners. I just had a really weird day at school. Not really in the mood. Sorry. Would telling me help? I'm probably not supposed to. His eyebrows rose up closer to his already receding hairline. It ran in his family. He'd probably just shave it all off in a year or two, and then he and his brothers will pass as triplets. I wasn't all that interested in my book anyway, so sought it. It'd probably get out soon anyway, knowing what our community is like for gossip. Oh, fine. Get comfortable. Oh boy, a bedtime story. He fluffed his pillow as though crashing cymbals while I fumbled around for my bookmark. So, this kid at school. How grand. No interruptions, please. Yes, ma'am. One of the other kids came over to my desk at lunch while I was marking the history homework I was supposed to have done the other night, but you'd brought home those leftovers that gave me the shits. Thanks again, by the way. We'll call her Doja. How catty. I pinched my husband's lips together. Let me tell you this before I overthink it and change my mind. The reply was muffled, indicated concession. Diwa came to tell me that Ariana was out in the Wendy house acting kind of funny. I still had about a dozen pieces to mark, but I thought what if the kid's having a fit or something? Dioja tends to downplay things. Like when she said Harry, who will call Harry, had bumped his arm falling off the climbing frame when he'd gone and broken his elbow. So she takes me by the hand and starts marching me off. Well, turns out Ariana had gone and raided the arts and crafts supply cupboard because clearly we don't have the funding to give them the lunch hour excitement they obviously crave. She'd, oh God, this is so wrong. She'd gone and made herself ears out of plastic cups she'd tied to her hairband with bits of string and had pinned a white pom-pom to the back of her skirt. She was calling the Wendy house her mansion. I told you it was weird. Ariana was telling all her pals. She's got quite the cult following this one, for always being a show-off and drama queen to call her Miss May. At first, I thought she meant like, Missed Me, and that was the name of the latest game she'd invented, but nope. Oh, and by the way, her shirt was lying in one corner of this mansion, and she was pressing her little chest. Luckily, she had a vest on, on the windows of this playhouse. One of the boys was asking me if I knew if there was bad weather coming because apparently Ariana had kept telling the others to make it rain. I jumped as someone appeared to have pulled the pin out of Adam, who was about to give himself a hernia laughing. Oh, Lou, he said between hiccups. This is too good. No, it isn't. It's very bad. I know for you, maybe but for MEI. 
I waited patiently for the next convulsion of laughter to leave his system. He rubbed his eyes. Continue, he said in a voice trying very hard to acknowledge the gravity of the situation. I had to bend down and knock on the door of the house, feeling like a cop come to bust up a house party and asked Ariana, You are going to love this. So, apparently Ariana's mother was a Miss April. Actually, now I think about it, I think she's mentioned it before, but I thought it was just a weird way of letting her know her mum isn't married. I shrugged, while Adam started to vibrate from barely held in chuckling again. When I was her age, the only palette we used was the one we'd pour oil paint on. At least, she's demonstrating a good work ethic. Okay, don't give me that look. The look that would turn a lesser man to stone. So I found myself having to explain to Ariana that she should try to raise funds by... It was so awkward, and from now on, I'm locking my door when marking bloody homework. Let some other schmuck figure out how to deal with that shit. I feel honored you shared that with me, Lou. And by the way, when is the next parent-teacher evening, and can I tag along? I elbowed him. Then told him only if he promised not to rabbit on. Welcome to Typecast. I can't believe my eyes when I get close to you, close to you, close to you. You said hello and I lost my control in just one tiny second. You do to me what I've seen in the movies, but this really
Taking the lights on me, I tell you I guarantee this night's about to take a turn for the better. Now the rain is pouring and all I see is lightning around my feet. Now nothing can bring me down. I just wanna Cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got the system, my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got the system, my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of
about fame It ain't about fake friends And screw your ex, it's such a flake Forget your grades, you need a break You, it's all about you No matter what the others say But now I'm done talking the lights on me I tell you I guarantee this Now it's about to take a turn for the better Now the rain is pouring and all I see is Lightning around my feet Now nothing can bring me down I just wanna dance till my heart goes out like that I just wanna dance I just wanna dance till my heart goes out like that I just wanna dance Cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it Show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third And the rest of it You could be a one I'm doing a You 
could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it Get in my way now, don't be shy
Can the lights on me? I tell you I can't. 